on this edition of Shelby This Week, for the first time ever, Utica and Eisenhower played each other in the playoffs. It was a big game and many fans were excited to watch the two hometown teams take to the field. We have all the highlights of Game 1 of the MHSAA Division 1 playoffs. Your travel time might be cut down. The orange barrels are being taken away on this major road in Macomb County. And the Clinton River flows right through Shelby Township and a new initiative will be stabilizing the area. We'll tell you more about the restoration. We have all of this and much more coming up on Shelby This Week. For the Eisenhower Eagles and the Utica Chieftains, Swinehart Field is home. But this past Friday, Eisenhower was the home team and Utica was visiting for the Game 1 of the playoffs. And Shelby TV was there to catch all the action. We have your game highlights. Max Whitwer pitch out to Caleb Oyster. Dances around defenders into the end zone for Eisenhower's first score of the night. And weather was an issue this game. After Max Whitwer out with an injury, handoff to Asad Buhaydar. And the only one to catch him is Kavan Higdy. As I said, slippery conditions. Jack Morris can't handle this snap. Off of a punt return, Johnny Fantazzo. Goes one way, then reverses field. All the way. In for the score. Big hit right here by Tyler Sillick for the Utica Chieftains. But Eisenhower wouldn't let up. Jack Morris. Looks like he fumbles, but they give him the touchdown. Then through the air. Ben Metz. Looks like he drops it. But bounces right back into his hands. And a great catch right near the sidelines. Asad Buhaydar. Ending in this Caleb Oyster touchdown. Moving on to the second half, Asad Buhaydar dancing down the sidelines. Jack Morse back to pass, avoiding defenders. Finally passing it to Caleb Oyster, bringing it down the sideline. Morse dumping it off to Oyster and spinning his way into the end zone for another Eisenhower touchdown. Utica with their best chance to score. But Kamel Macklin strips the ball and takes it to the house to bring us to our final score. Eisenhower Eagles 52, Utica Chieftains 0. Congratulations to the Eisenhower football team for their win. They now move on. Ike will play Rochester Adams, who beat Romeo 26-17. The Eisenhower Adams game will be this Friday at Swinehart Field. And that big game brought out hundreds of people. And it didn't matter who the fans were rooting for. Everyone was excited to be under those Friday night lights. It's the playoff games, uh, Utica vs. Ike. Um, so like I said, it's pretty exciting because we're rivals, or not rivals, nice. we want to be rivals. It's super exciting because we made playoffs and we haven't been playoffs in like 10 years. Um, I don't know, we brought more boys up so we have a better chance of winning. It's the first time, it's the first time they've been playing each other since 2007. It's crazy. Hype. Everyone's gonna go crazy this game. It's something to watch. The whole entire community is here. It's wonderful. It's really good. Everyone's loud. The band is doing good. It's a, gonna be a very good game because it's Utica versus Ike. So it's gonna be very good. Let's go, Eagles! I'm excited. We want to be state champs this year and finish what we didn't do last year. Well, we're hoping to beat Utica, and we will. <laughs> it is a very exciting atmosphere. It's really weird being on the visitor stands when we're in our own arena across from our school, but uh, pretty exciting. I'm excited for both of the teams, so they get to play together. We have two major updates on the roads, but let's start with the bad news. Your commute might be a little longer. Eastbound Auburn Road at Utica Road will be closed, according to the city of Utica. Weather permitting, this will last until November 10th. Construction crews will be on the site repairing the road, and drivers are asked to take an alternate route. 
the City of Utica recommends using Hall Road. The westbound lane will remain open during the repair time. And now for some good news. While one road closes, another one opens. Drivers rejoice because Hall Road is open once again. The $60 million project has completed phase one. The stretch of roadway from M53 to Garfield Road is the first part of the two-year project. The four miles of road was rebuilt to better serve the community. New traffic lights were installed along with ramps, sidewalks, and trees. Next spring, crews will begin the second phase by reconstructing M59 between Garfield and Romeo Plank Road. The shoreline at Riverbends Park is getting a facelift. The U.S. Army Corp of Engineers announced the award to restore and stabilize the waterfront. The $1.8 million project is funded through the Great Lakes Restoration Initiative. The project will reduce erosion along the Clinton River Bank, and contractors will bury roots into the bank for stabilization, which will direct water away from the shoreline. There are two areas which will see improvements, the picnic and the frisbee site. Both areas are located within the park. The project is set to be completed by November of 2019. Coming up, Shelby Township has plans to honor all the men and women who've served in the armed forces with a run in the morning and a ceremony in the afternoon. Learn how you can get involved and commemorate Veterans Day. And beautiful voices rang through the Senior Center last week and we got to listen to what they've been rehearsing. Stay with us on Shelby This Week. Shorter days are on the horizon. Daylight saving time is on its way. On Sunday, November 5th at 2 a.m., all clocks will go back one hour. The good news is we get an extra hour of sleep and mornings will be lighter. The bad news, we see less light in the evening. So don't forget to set your clocks back one hour starting November 5th. And while your clocks are changing back one hour, this is also a great time to change the batteries in your smoke detectors. The Shelby Township Fire Department urges residents to take the time to change out the batteries to make sure the detectors are in working order. Three out of five fire deaths are, from, are a result of non-working smoke detectors. So we can make a dramatic improvement in that if we continue to, to keep our smoke detectors working. Smoke detectors actually save lives every year, so be sure to change those batteries. <coughs> Calling all runners and walkers, too. Running with Heroes will be on November 5th, starting at 10 a.m. The 5th Annual Veterans Memorial Run is open to anyone interested in hitting the pavement and running for a good cause. The 5K will go around the Shelby Township Municipal Grounds, May Stecker Park, and the lake. The course will then finish at the Veterans Memorial. Every registered runner has the chance to win items from Cherry Creek Golf Club and Banquet Center, Utica Florist, Sky Zone, and many more. Registration can be found online until November 3rd at eastsideracingcompany.com. There is also open registration on November 4th from 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. at Hanson's Running Shop. All the proceeds of the race benefit the Shelby Township Veterans Memorial. And after you complete the race, don't forget to stick around for the Veterans Day Ceremony. The annual event honors all those who have sacrificed their lives and served in the military. The Veterans Day Ceremony will be on November 5th at 1.30 p.m. at the Shelby Township Memorial site. 
Everyone from the community is invited to tent, attend and honor the men and women who have served in our armed forces. If you're interested in finding out more information, you can contact Shelby Township's Veteran Events Coordinator, Phil Randazzo. His number is 586-739-4046. How else would a choir celebrate Halloween but with a little song? The Shelby Township Senior Center Choir presented two pieces they've been working on. They kicked off their performance with the Halloween classic, Purple People Eater, and then moved on to the 1964 chart topper, Downtown. It's um, something to look forward to, something to share. We perform at different nursing homes, so it's like sharing of yourself and the community. I love it. Every time we sing a new song or a different song, it is great. It's absolutely wonderful. I love singing downtown because when I was a kid, I used to live by uh, downtown only a, a, about a mile and a half, and I used to go downtown all the time. Singing here with the Claire is, uh, has been a challenge, and, and I think all of us enjoy it very much. We're fortunate to have a conductor that is as educated as he is, and he's trying to bring the best music that he can out of us. The Senior Center Choir is always looking for singers. If you're interested in performing, you can find out more information by calling 586-739-7540. And if you're looking to make a little extra cash this holiday season, several businesses are hiring seasonal staff. In Metro Detroit, FedEx will hire 300 workers as package handlers. Across the country, the delivery service will hire 50,000 employees this season. Another delivery company, UPS, will hire more than 2,000 employees during the holiday rush. From drivers to manual operation jobs, there's plenty available for, for the company. If you're looking for something in retail, Nordstrom stores across the country are searching for people to fill the 8,000 positions available. And Target is still looking to fill a few positions for the holiday season as well. If you're interested in applying at any of these places, visit them on their website on the screen. Still ahead on Shelby this week, we caught up with the Shelby Township Gardeners Club as they prepare for winter. And one local resident goes all out for Halloween. We have a look at what she did to get ready for those trick-or-treaters. The kitchen can be a dangerous place. Please stay in the kitchen when cooking on a stovetop. Please keep children at least three feet away from a hot stove. Never leave children alone in a room with a lit candle as they could get burned or cause a fire. It's a good idea to check your smoke detectors often, once a month. These simple tips can go a long way in keeping your family safe. One group in Shelby Township had some work to get done before the snow comes. Our Courtney Bennett tells us about a little fall cleanup. Typically, the Shelby Township Gardeners Club would be here at Heritage Gardens planting, but today they are actually cleaning up and preparing for the winter. Today is what we call cleanup day for the fall. So um, right now in this area we're um, trimming all the hosses back for the winter, but where we had the annuals and things, we're taking them out of the ground. The actual cleanup is to keep out the slugs and the animals that are the insects that are not healthy for the gardens. But then uh, we're, it's winterizing, it's getting ready, so it looks nice for the winter too. There are people that come up to us and tell us over and over again just how much they enjoy the peace, quiet, tranquility, and beauty of this garden. So it's a wonderful place. And while cleaning up and planting is a large part of the club, the members also participate in much more. It's so much more than just a garden club. I'm learning um, 
we're at, we're active. We do like. Kathleen said community service. We make things for local nursing homes. Um, last a couple weeks ago, we did a craft project. There are plenty of opportunities to learn and help make Shelby Township a more beautiful place. While gardening season may be over, you can still get involved with the Shelby Township Gardeners Club by contacting Cheryl Simniewski at 586-823-8555. Reporting for Shelby This Week, I'm Courtney Bennett. While outdoor gardening season may be over, the Gardeners Club is keeping the love of gardening alive, even as we move into colder weather. The organization will host a presentation on learning about the bonsai. Richard Marsh and Lynn Irish both have backgrounds in caring for the bonsai tree. They'll host the free lecture on Thursday, November 9th at 1 p.m. It will be held at the Shadbush Nature Center. The public is invited to come and discuss tree care and the trimming and shaping of the bonsai tree. And that's it for us here at Shelby this week. Don't forget you can watch us all the time online or on our Facebook page. Just search Shelby TV. In honor of Halloween, we will leave you with one of the 2017 Beautification Award winners. Sheila Brownlee decorates for all holidays and here are some of her festive decorations. Enjoy and thanks for watching.